So what is up guys, Killer Kevin today back with a brand new episode of Skyrim Special Edition. Today we are going to be looking at five must-have weapon mods within the game. But without further ado guys, let's just jump straight into the video. Crossfire X-shaped bow with exploding arrows. This one is going to be the 2K textured version. This one is coming to 6.6 .6 megabytes of a download from a mod author which has their own YouTube channel. Go and check it out as well. Links down in the description alongside this particular mod. It's going to be JFresh401 Gaming. Absolutely brilliant that he is back and making these sick bows i really do enjoy these bows They're absolutely insane my personal favorite thing out this whole entire model was just the texture on the arrows it looks freaking insane let me tell you that forged in the fires of oblivion and brought to skyrim for this furious adventure this is a retexture of one of the other mods that the model author has done of the expo the bow has a dramatic zoom boost when you're sneaking at level 20 and the arrows do 25 damage until the player is level 25 and they can even do up to 50 damage personally these are very awesome effects on the arrows i think they're pretty cool also the respawning rate of the arrows if you do run out of them is going to be 24 hours so if you want to stock up pretty much all you need to do is just spam and repeat obviously be a little bit cautious when trying to get the arrows as you can tell i was a little bit stuck trying to get them but remember guys you can always fast travel and that's exactly what i did Drog Weaponry Replacer coming in at a 6 megabyte of a download. For this one, what the mod does is it has a big change on the visuals, but not a lot of weapons have been added for this one. That does say within here that the mod author does want to add more weapons that you can download as a standalone version as well, which will absolutely be awesome with this sort of retextured sort of pack to come to the site. Now, for this one, it does change a few of, if not all of, the vanilla drug weaponry within the game they are very nice indeed as you can tell by the visuals of some of them on screen now personally will be keeping this one as it is a small download size and it is a massive change i really do enjoy the models meshes and textures provided by this download Fetcher's Knife is going to be the next spot within this video, coming in at 8.8 .8 megabytes of a download. This is done by Billy Roo off of the NexusMods.com. This is going to be a port to the Bethesda Nightmare website. We've covered a ton of this mod author's work onto the Bethesda Nightmare website. They are absolutely huge and killing it on the NexusMods.com. They're really awesome, and it's nice to see that someone is getting the permission to port them over to the site because they are just absolutely freaking awesome the fletcher's knife is one of the favorite weapons to do with this model they're located south of the guardian stones at a random bandit camp on top of sort of this little sediment as you can tell on screen now if not through the video this is a perfect blade for anyone who's playing a survivalist or even a hunter's playthrough absolutely brilliant love the textures too obviously i've got the xp uh, 32 animation skeleton model which allows me to have the dagger on the back of the hip and as well the animation of pulling it out so it looks absolutely finesse did a video on all my animations of 2018 if you want to go and check that out there'll be a little card darting around somewhere if not ask me hit me up in the comments and i'll plug in but overall this knife is absolutely insane it's very meaty indeed i'm personally going to be cloning this one as in duping it via the cheat rooms and tell it to you what you do with it but two of these would be absolutely insane with an assassin sixth house bell hammer a morrowind weapon coming in at nine megabytes of a download as the sixth house bell hammer from morrowind all the way over into skyrim you can find this one of the most powerful weapons by following a very small undocumented quest and to start this one off all you need to do is head over to the road to morrowind south of riften location on screen now and you should bump into a broken down wagon with two hostile bandits covering one of them does have the undocumented quest pick it up read it and it pretty much tells you exactly where to go mini mod showcase on this one is coming out very very soon but if you can get it from this video that is awesome pretty much what we need to do is pick this one up head over to i do believe it's a hollow cave or something like that pick the weapon up and it is yours again it's going to be guarded so you're probably gonna to have to kill at least five members to obtain this absolutely epic hammer Spiked Axe for this one it is going to be coming in at 38.8 megabytes of a download with full permissions from the mod author on the Bethesda.net website to travel its way and its beauty all the way over to the Bethesda.net website. 
via a, another mod author. But this one, this does come with a 4K version, which is the one we are showcasing in this video. Really nice to see some of the models and meshes and textures overall to do with this weapon are absolutely brilliant. Now, you can actually craft this particular beauty. As you can see right now, there is a one-handed and a two-handed version of this particular one. The two-handed version is going to look very deadly. Great for anyone who's playing a Viking playthrough. Same same thing to do as well if you are going to be using the one-handers. They work absolutely a treat. Do not worry about the animation side to do with what I'm running at the moment. Loads of other things going to factor out, but that shouldn't be a problem. Just enjoy the beauty of this particular axe. Absolutely great, really cheap to craft as well. And I recommend everyone at least trying this one. The two-handed version though is gonna be my favorite. So guys, that's the end of the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like on the video. It does help me out an awful lot. If you're new around here too, make sure to click that subscribe button right next to as well. There is going to be a little bell icon. If you click that, you will get a notification for every single time a video like this hits the channel. But until the next one, guys, get a kev here and get a kev out.